What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo sent me a free code for this game, but I already had it and it's Amiibo on pre-order. I'm just super excited to be playing this continuation of one of the newest Nintendo franchises. Thanks to you guys, Nintendo games have done really well on my channel lately and this channel has some of the most popular Splatoon videos on YouTube. In fact, the first episode of Splatoon has over 60,000 likes and over 6 million views, making it one of my most popular videos ever. Thanks in advance for any likes and favorites you give me on this Splatoon 2 video series. Also, thanks to your support, we now have over 2.6 million subscribers. That's incredible, and I cannot thank you guys enough. I will do my best to bring you even more awesome videos. Just leave a comment letting me know which games made you subscribe and which games you'd like to see me play in the future. Now, without further ado, let's play Splatoon 2. It's going to get messy. Here we go. All right, it's Pearl Marina. Y'all know what time it is. It's off the hook, coming at you live from Inkopolis Square. Check it, here are the current regular battle stages. There we go, we got Turf War, Muscle Forge, and uh, the Reef. Look at me, I'm Marina, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, that's so me. <laughs> All right, and these are the current rank battle stages. Oh, Sturgeon Shipyard and Port Mackerel. And it does splat zones right now. Oh, I just love the smell of the salty sea air. But how can you tell it apart from the smell of your teammates' tears? <laughs> how about opponents' tears? Here we go. Here are the league battle stages. Ooh, league battle. Let's learn more about that. Rainmaker, Humpback, Pump Track, and Ink Blot Art Academy. Remember when we performed at the school's music festival? How could I forget? You started a mosh pit and broke a bunch of sculptures. Uh, why is our producer freaking out? Read the teleprompter, Marina. Huh? Let's see here. <laughs> this just in, the great zapfish has disappeared. Wait, like for reals? I feel like I've heard this story somewhere before. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, there's more. Pop superstar Callie of the Squid Sisters has gone missing. No, not Callie. This is terrible. Do something, Marina. Oh my gosh, she went missing after the Splatfest, after, after losing the Splatfest. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll put together a search part, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm sure they'll turn up at some point. In other news, <laughs> just just get, just brush this over, whatever, here we go. Uh, but shouldn't we form a search party or something? Uh, uh, I guess not. And that's all the time we've got. <laughs> all right, well, great. Until next time, don't get cooked, stay off the hook. Oh my goodness, so what happened to Callie? Someone tell me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Inkopolis Square, the new nerve center of Inkling culture. All right, here we go. That's stuck a tower there in front of you, one of the tallest buildings in all of Inkopolis. There's a lobby on the first floor of Decca Tower for online battles. Nice. Over here, we've got the Galleria, Inkopolis' most popular shopping center. Here you can buy the freshest gear and weapons to use in battle. But the shops are pretty exclusive, and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. So last time I think it was level four, right? Let's see. Uh, what else? Oh, that creepy shop back there? Rumor has it they're hiring for some sketchy job. Might want to think twice before you apply there unless you really need dough. I do. That brings us to the Shoal, the coolest hangout spot in all of Inkopolis. That's where Inklings go to meet with nearby friends for both competitive and cooperative play. And next we have... Huh? Who's that mysterious squid back there? It almost looks like... No, she never hang out in a place like this. And those clothes. Yeah, it must be someone else. But we'll see who it is. Anyway, you should check out the lobby of Decca Tower. That's where you can get your splat on. All right, so we'll definitely uh, engage with all of this stuff uh, soon. I thought maybe we could just hop right on in. Uh, Pedro, do I know this person? Okay, <laughs> just a guy with some gear. Great, so there are people here already with gear. I thought what I would do is I would kind of hop into uh, s some sort of a battle. And uh, there's Amiibo. I'm going to scan in some Amiibos. Not right now, not today, but uh, throughout this series I will. And let's take a look at what uh, he has over here. Grab a bite. Hello, Krusty Sean. What's cracking, Squiddo? Welcome to the Crust Bucket. I've got snacks and drinks that will increase your experience and cash flow when you battle. Just give me a ticket and I'll hook you up with an item. What it'll be, I don't think I have any tickets yet, but I just wanted to show you guys this. I don't have any tickets, but uh, you can uh, your battle cash can be increased by 50% or doubled, uh, and then same with experience as well. 
So I've, it says 20 remaining. Do I already have them? Or is he only have those and that's how many he has in stock? I guess so. Peace, Squiddo. So I can't quite do that yet. Uh, but there are shops. There are uh, this this thing over here. I, I wish I could. Can I play this? What is this? What is this? Can I actually just play this right now? I just, I'm just checking this out. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is a music player, right? I think so. How does this work? Uh, play, stop. Here, let, yeah. Uh, okay. And I can add my own percussion. <laughs> anyway, you guys get the idea. It's a music player. But hey, I thought maybe what we could do first, right off the bat, is just jump into some action. That's how I did it on the first Splatoon series. And then we'll go check out some of these mysterious characters around there. I know I can't buy anything yet. There's Judd and Little Judd over here. And that is indeed Callie, isn't it? Oh, she just left. She just left. I can enter there. I'll probably do that later. I don't necessarily want to go. L let's go in. Let's see what this is all about really quick. We got to showcase the new stuff, the old stuff, all the stuff. Yeah, I can't buy anything from, from Sheldon. All right. Oh, my. Is that truly the only weapon in your, in your possession? You'll need a bigger arsenal than that if you want to be, be taken seriously around here. I'd offer to help, but I'm not sure you can handle my firepower at lowly level one. No, I simply don't feel comfortable selling you any of my babies until you are level two, at the very least. <laughs> Go play some regular battles to raise your level and then come see me again, yes? Yes, indeed. That is exactly what I'll do. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead then, and uh, I will go into uh, a regular battle and hopefully have some real fun here. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, I want to talk to Judd, though. Judd and little Judd. Callie, man, where's she going? Let's see. Good advice. Meow, you smell as fresh as my litter box. Is that good or bad? Get to the lobby and play some Turf War Battles. Once you played a bit and leveled up, don't forget to visit the weapon shop in the square. Okay. Understood. So here we go. We're going to check things out right now. Going in. Well, here I am. Welcome to the lobby, your gateway to online multiplayer battles. As you battle, you'll raise your level and earn cash. A higher level will let you access the freshest gear in the shops and all new battle modes here in the lobby. So get that level up. If you want to buy some weapons and gear, you gotta earn some cash first. So if you want the freshest gear, you gotta battle as much as you can. But enough talk, let's get you started with a regular battle. As your level increases, don't forget to talk to the shopkeepers in the plaza. All right, go get them. All right, yes, I will participate in online battles and my nickname and game stats may be published. Sounds great. So we got regular battle, can't join rank or league. Uh, but league sounds cool. B minus or high. I'm not exactly sure what this is play for keeps with your squid squad. Face off in more competitive battle. Oh, that might just be the same as squad battles. Uh, friends, private, online, lounge. Play with... And this is for the uh, smartphone app. I haven't tried that out yet. Let's hop into a regular battle. Uh, like I said, we had uh, Muscle Forge, Fitness, and The Reef. So we're going to hop into a regular battle and see what happens. All right, searching for a battle. Please put me in. I'm ready to do this. Man, we already got some level sevens in here. Very interesting. I'm only level one. Go easy on me, right? This looks fairly similar to uh, the original Splatoon, and that makes me happy because I love the original Splatoon. So let's just uh, let's just see what happens here. One more. We just need one more player, and we're gonna go into turf war mode. Now I ended my Splatoon series, uh, Splatoon one series, doing turf war, and here we are, back again. Good as new. Turf War coming at you once more. I wonder how many truly new players to the Splatoon franchise we'll have here with a Nintendo Switch. But we'll find out. The load times seem faster. All right, The Reef. It's a classic stage. Not classic as in like the original, but I played this before. Here we go. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna just ink some turf. Woo! <laughs> All right, there's Gustav. So I played this uh, uh, in New York City, and also maybe in one of the uh, uh, global test fire. I don't know. So what's my ability? I have, a I have some sort of an awesome shield. It's gone. That was interesting. I was basically basically like a bubble, but I was like a shield. It, that was really cool. Yeah, there we go. Let's get stuff covered. We got to be in the lead. I want to be in the lead at least. Oh, jeez. 
Have I been located? No, I wouldn't know they're targeting me with an airstrike. Got somebody. Oh god, I did not want to be here. Oh my gosh. Oh man, already already being punished so bad. I only have this one gun that I don't know much about. Actually, I do know a lot about it. It's from the original, so. Here we go. Let's get our side fill. Now the, the thing that the thing that gets me the most is that I no longer have a map I can just quickly look at with my gamepad. I now have to actually trigger it. Uh, and that's gonna take some bit of getting used to. There we go, but hey, I could probably... What? What does the Ink Armor do? I just got hurt, I just died. I didn't actually look at what Ink Armor did, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff to try to try to get here. Uh, exit, please. We're not winning this. Man, I don't know, I, I was using ink, ink Armor and I got hit, I don't know. All right, it's okay. Off to a rough start. I'm hoping to pull through with like a last minute victory, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Of course, a lot of this depends on your team. Man, got me. Not having very good encounters. We're losing right now. I'm not sure how to handle this. I got somebody, I walked into three of them though. That's a recipe for disaster. Okay, yeah, we're just not doing it this time. All right, I don't want to get too greedy here. Come on! Yo, I guess it takes a while for that ink armor to kick in. It's not like an in, like a reaction that you want to do. Oh well. So not much coverage for our team at all. Twenty nine point three percent to fifty six point five. Not so good, but I was number one on the team. So that's a way to walk away with that. That's very cool. All right, nice. Eight hundred points, almost to level two. Turf war again at the reef. Uh, let's see if I can pull through with the victory this time. I got to be at least level two. To get new guns. So here we go. And cover up this area here. There we go. And my armor. I, I, I'm not fully sure how it works. Now I have it, right? What, it's gone. This doesn't last very long. I'm really confused by it. It seems like a very temporary type of thing. I'm trying to figure out what I would use it for. Like what kind of encounter? I thought maybe it would last a little bit longer, so I was kind of like staring him down a little bit, but no, it, it needs to last longer. I don't know. Oh God, help, God, dang it. Right there. He jumped in right on me. Here we go, excuse me. Oh, so wait, why am I glowing now? I don't understand why I was glowing, that was weird. Did you see me glow for a second? I need to learn what this mechanic's all about. I didn't even check it out. Help! Dang it, shot me in the back. All right, tint and missile, yeah. Uh, I got somebody. Only hit him a couple times. I think the two greens were trying to shoot each other there for a second. All right, so I just jumped into this without even really thinking about much.
All right, one minute left. Got him. Come on, they're so on our side. All right. Here we go again. I don't quite understand how this armor works. So I still have it, I guess. Got him. I couldn't get both of them though. And it looks like we're not gonna win. We their map is not covered although enough. Oh well. Another loss. But, but, let's see if there's a silver lining. Silver lining is I was number one on the team again. Very cool. Six splats, I guess that's what it means. Two special uses, so that puts me at level two. I need to learn what my special actually does though because uh, I didn't do a lot of research on what some of these specials do. So let me exit really quick and talk to Sheldon. Uh, maybe a different gun would help me in this mode, uh, but if we take a look, let's look at our equipment. Uh, this does, okay, so yeah, I just had the basic clothes, right? Uh, but this weapon here, and if I do, how do I look, there we, no. How do I look at the stats? What? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me go back to my equipment. How do I read about what it does? Info, there we go. All right. Ink armor special. So here we go. The ink armor. This pulls up a guide. Let's see here. So we know what the sub weapons do, but the special weapons, ink armor here, grants each member. Oh, each member of your team armor that will completely nullify the damage from a single attack. Works on all team members regardless of proximity. Oh wow. So I didn't know I was giving that to my whole team. That's actually very useful. I was thinking to myself, if it was just for me. That just doesn't seem very powerful. But since it extends to my whole team. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna all benefit from that so very cool uh, so let me hop into like another let me talk to Sheldon really quick and then see what we can do let's see where is so Sheldon Sheldon was down over here Splatoon 2 all right so let's see he said level oh, there goes Callie again level uh, two Gets me a good gun. Hello, hello, let me guess. You're looking for some new weapons. You've come to the right place. Our weapons come in sets. A main weapon on ZR and a sub weapon on R. And yes, a special weapon. Sound complicated? Don't fret. You can always press Y to try out my products before buying. Well, I'm not gonna try them out. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna buy them and try them out on the field. That sounds good for me. While you try them, you can swap weapons with plus and minus with weapon highlighted. Uh, to, with the weapon highlighted to get more details on subs and specials. And if you want in-depth info about a weapon, just press ZL while you're in my shop and I'll explain it. I've got the finest selection of ink weaponry in all of Inkopolis. Take a look. You're ready to wield the splatter shot. Yes, the splatter shot, finally. The splatter shot is beloved for its ease of handling and high potential. This is the latest model of the go-to weapon. The included burst bombs are great for both attack and defense, and the splashdown special doubles down on attack power. You can also use the splashdown as a defensive ace up your sleeve, so it's perfect for learning the basics of battling. If you learn to make great use of this set, you'll be a force to be reckoned with. This all-around set is great for mastering the basics of battle. All right, <laughs> let's do it. So splashdown and burst bomb sounds great. Uh, I'm gonna use this, buy it right now, there we go. Equip it right now, buy and use it. Thank you, I know you'll give it a good home. Remember, simply press plus to uh, uh, equip, yeah, to choose your active weapon. Okay, great, I got it on me right now. I'm gonna take it into turf war like immediately. So uh, let's, let's do this, guys. All right, I just joined a new lobby. Let's go ahead and use a splatter shot and see. I wanna maybe get to level four so I can at least buy some gear. Let's see if that works. Muscle Forge Fitness. Now this one was another, this was another stage, right? During one of the test fires, I think so. But here we go, guys. 
I think. Was it? I might be confused. Yeah, it was. I remember now. So here we go. And I'm going to have Splash Down. I love this song! <laughs> if you guys saw me play the uh, the test fire, he goes, but it a video, but a video. Oh, out of ink, out of ink, out of ink. But I got my super ready. Video, but a video. What? I was just about to use my splash down. It's okay. A video, but a video, but a video. I don't know if that's what they're saying, but I like this song. He's using Splashdown. There we go, nice. So if they're gonna be blocked from like one attack, that means even certain moves like Splashdown could be uh... Boom! There you go, Splashdown in the works. Hold on, I need to make sure I have ink to confront this person. Oh, I think I have, uh, I think I have another one. Yes! Yes! Oh, I need more ink. All right, we're getting this covered. Boom! Hi. Oh no, out of ink. How do you already have that helmet? Is it from scan scanning amiibos? I'm doing much better this round. I like this gun way more than the other one. There we go, I'm protected maybe. Oh God, not enough. It broke. We might win this one if we're lucky. Here we go, boom. Flash down. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing much better this time. Oh, gee, I didn't see the person next to me. It's okay. So we can take a look at this, see if anyone, if I want to jump to anyone. How about this person right there? Maybe this will work. I don't know. Oh God. Oh, come on, still? Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I'm just trying out this mechanic where I have this armor. Okay, yeah, th needed to get that for sure. Just, I don't know if we won. I can't pull up the map yet. Maybe we won. I hope we won. Victory. Nicely done. All right, that's what I like to see. And with me is at the top, I love it. <laughs> Nine splats, three uses of my special. Whoa, almost level three. I got to level up on all three of my pieces of gear. Nice. Okay, before proceeding onwards, let's go ahead and take a look at all the sub weapons and special weapons right now that are listed. And uh, that way we can be familiar with the things that we see. Uh, so one is a splat bomb. Obviously this is from the first platoon, as is uh, the suction bomb and the burst bomb. Now, uh, the splat bomb is a bomb that explodes a short time after it lands. It inks the area around it when it explodes and can even take out opponents. Suction bomb's a little bit bigger, a bomb that attaches to the ground and walls. They take longer to explode than the splat bombs and spread ink farther. Now these are burst bombs. This is what I was using right now with the splatter shot. A bomb that explodes as soon as it touches something. It's small, weak explosion, but they don't consume much ink. So you can throw them one after another. Now new to Splatoon 2 is the curling bomb, a bomb that moves in a straight line, inking the ground before it explodes. It also bounces off walls. You can adjust the length of time until detonation by holding down R. That's interesting. I never knew that part. Uh, auto bomb. I've never seen this before. A bomb that automatically seeks out opponents. It will search for opponents in the area that you throw it. And if you if it finds one, um, it will automatically start walking towards them. When it approaches an opponent, it stops and explodes. Sounds very very scary. Ink mine. This was from the first Splatoon as well. A trap that you place on the ground when an opponent gets close, it activates, marking that opponent. Uh, it also uh, it'll also activate if inked by an opponent. You can place two at once. So that's a good benefit right there. Poison mist. I don't think I've seen this before. A bottle that sprays the fluid of a certain creature. Which one? <laughs> In mist form. 
Opponents caught in the mist move slower, and their ink is slightly... Oh, this was... Yeah, this was... This was in the original. I just didn't know what it was called. Uh, the longer you're in the mist, the stronger the effect becomes. So, like, it's kind of... Is it? I don't, actually, I don't know. Their ink is slightly... Uh, maybe not. Point sensor. Uh, yeah, yeah, this was. This maybe was called something different, though. This Disruptor. I, I don't re remember now. But anyway, you guys can tell me in the comments below. Point sensor. A device that marks opponents nearby. When it is thrown, it reveals the opponent's locations to your teammates. Splash wall. This was there. A device that erects a wall of ink in front of you that blocks enemy intrusion and attacks. Attacks from enemies will speed up the time it takes for the wall to come down. You can only place one at a time. Sprinkler was there too. A device that attaches to the ground or to the walls and sprays ink. It operates at full power right when you place it, but gradually gets weaker. You can only place one at a time. And then the squid beacon. A device that emits a signal that squids can detect. You can super jump to, to teammate squid beacon by selecting it and pressing A. You can place up to three at a time. But they're one-time use. All right. So now that those are out of the way, the specials. Here we go. Tenta missiles. If you press ZR, this will fire missiles at all enemies that you tag with your cursor. The more enemies you tag, the more effective it is. Stingray. Hold down ZR to fire a high-pressure jet of ink that can blast through walls. You can't change direction quickly while firing this. When not firing, you can see the location of opponents on the other side of walls. Very cool. Very cool. Ink jet. This launches you into the air by spraying out ink, allowing you to attack opponents with the attached launcher. You can fly higher temporarily by pressing B. I didn't know you could fly higher. Splashdown. You charge up power while floating upward and then slam down on the ground, attacking the surrounding area. The range of the attack is wider if used from an elevated area. That's really cool. Oh, it can also be used during super jump. That's also super cool. Uh, I don't know how you would use that. That'd be really cool, though. Um, ink armor. Now, we just went over this one, so we know what that one is. Bomb launchers. These launch the included bombs without consuming any of your ink. The longer you hold R, the farther you'll throw the bombs. This is this is one that we've never seen before. Ink storm. Throw this device uh, to generate a rain cloud of ink. The cloud gradually moves away from where the device was thrown. Baller. Enter a ball that protects you from a certain amount of damage and move around. If you hold down ZR to charge up power or let a certain amount of time pass, the ball will explode, freeing you and attacking the surrounding area. That's really cool. And uh, here's another uh, new one, Bubble Blower. This fires a maximum of three bubbles that, when inked uh, uh, in your teammate's color, burst and attack the surrounding area. If inked in your opponent's color, they shrivel up. Interesting. That sounds really cool. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, but now we know. Now we can uh, go comfortably uh, into battle again. Let's go back to the lobby. Uh, let's. I, I don't know if I'll make it to level four this video. I still got a lot to showcase. And uh, so let's go back to the lobby. Then we'll check out the single player mode. If, and then, uh, so here we go. Another regular battle. All right, we got another full lobby here. So let's go ahead and ink some more turf. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can win this one. I hope so. I like that Smashdown. I would love to try it during a, a, a super jump. That'd be really cool. Uh, I don't know if it'd be necessary, but it'd be super cool. Like I can see that really useful during tower control. Jumping to the tower and then boom. Could be really awesome. I do want to try it. I just don't know. I'll, maybe I'll wait till my teammates are in a scuffle. I don't know. Here, uh, let me pull up the map. Let me just jump to him. Now, here we go. Here I go. Oh, my God. You know what? That will be a great distraction. Because, like, imagine that they see you and they're waiting for you, but then, boom, you slam down. That would that would totally get people who who just were were just there, just waiting to kill you, and then suddenly it would be phenomenal. Okay, yeah, that's coming for me. Here I go. Oh, the best is up there. Okay. I wish it weren't as hard. I wish it weren't so hard to use the uh, squid jump because it was so easy with the gamepad. That's the one thing I'll miss. I'll miss the gamepad and all this. I really will. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna squid jump. Maybe someone will be waiting for me. Boom! Oh, no one was waiting for me, but that's how it looks. All right, but that's how it looked, right? That was really cool. Again, I was trying to make it be really, really cool. All right, it's okay. All right, we're okay. Oh, geez, they're coming after me. Maybe. All 
All right, let's we'll, we'll get a good look. I'll see if there's someone just waiting there. Then yeah, no one's just waiting there though. Darn. I just so want to do it and actually get somebody though. Oh, he's dead. Here I go. Where am I going? No, no one's waiting there either. <laughs> I can see how amazing. I didn't know you could use it when super jumping. It would be so cool. Maybe I just have to use it like normal. It would be so cool to take out someone just waiting for you. I hope we can win. I'm gonna try. Boom! That didn't do it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get back. Ah. There we go. I don't know if we won. I was a little preoccupied at the end to look at the map, and I just can't look down at my lap anymore. But I hope we did. We did! 49 to 39. Excellent. All right. And that's a thousand point bonus. I broke two thousand points. That's that feels good. I was gonna say that's gotta feel good, but I'm telling you, it feels good. Look at that! Wow, I'm level three. I might be able to hit level four. I might be able to hit level four this episode. Continue, of course. Muscle Forge Fitness. We got this. Maybe. Maybe we don't. This game looks beautiful. See, I can like practice by inking my like our local turf and then just like mint like squid jump uh, over to a teammate. But really, I'd probably just rather use it. Oh my god! Boom! <laughs> How's that? Telling you, it was good. Oh, geez. Hello. We got a lot more to. Whoa, geez, geez, Louise, was that? What was that? Help. Is that the robot? Oh, that might have been. I forget what it was called. Got him. Nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I did it. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't mean to go down here yet. Oh, ow, ow. And they're all around. Uh oh. Those little robots. I'm not great at aiming. Thankfully, I have a good teammates who seem to be better at aiming than me. And so I'm gonna jump over here. I'm protected. Boom, that doesn't do anything. Well, here I am on their side now. Oh, yeah, I'm protected. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, we're fine. Oh, wow. Where'd he go? Why did he go? What? There we go. Nice. All right, all right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, he's, she's already gotten. It's okay. We got to keep covering this area. I'm protected. Yay. Oh, jeez, Louise. Got him. I think we won that one. I think, I hope. That was a pretty good round. 
That was a pretty epic battle in the center there, but I think we won. Oh yeah, 54 to basically 35. 55, 35. Excellent. Look at me, number one on the team again. Happy about it for sure. All right. I'm gonna return to the lobby and see if there are any level three guns. I don't know if there will be, but let's go ahead and take a look. So let's uh, exit really quick. And then I'll talk to Sheldon. And I think for the gear, it's level four. I guess I could double check, just so you guys know for sure. For when you guys are playing, you know, if you wanna go, you know, here, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see if it's level four. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, so now, who is this one? Oh, this is Jelfonzo. Welcome to Yeo Club. Oh, fi uh, what? <laughs> that has all the freshness of a piece of salted cod. A salted cod piece. Ooh. <laughs> could, can I help thee? <laughs> could I but help thee? I would, alas. But I, <laughs> I would. Alas, I must turn thee hence. Thou hast not the level required of my wares. <laughs> Shouldst thou reach level four. Uh, mine arm shall be open. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. So I'm almost level four. I'll get there. Then I can buy some of his wares. I don't know if I have enough cash, though. That's the main thing. I don't know if I have enough cash for some of his wares. But I, I'm going to check out sh check out Sheldon. Yeah, yeah. She went under there. I need to go in there see what single player mode's all about, right? And then... Hello? I can buy... Yes! Oh, man. The charger. No, no. Well, hello, hello. What kind of weapon are you in the market for? I've got the finest selection of ink weaponry in all of Inkopolis. Take a look. You're ready to wield the Splat Roller. The Splat Roller represents the roller class of weapons that excel at close combat and inking turf. Tap ZR to, fi to fling ink at foes or hold it down to ink the ground as you run. Bounce a curling bomb off a wall to cut off your opponent's route. Get right up on them and splat. Paired with the Splashdown, I'm pretty sure you'll have no trouble splatting multiple opponents at once. If you want to experience the basics of the new generation of rollers, look no further. And that's not all. You're also ready to wield the Splat Charger. The Splat Charger is a charger type weapon designed for long range offense. Hold down ZR to charge up ink and then release the button to fire it out all at once, inking a long path in an instant. Sure, it's a bit unwieldy, but this baby can store its charge, allowing you to swim for a short while without losing your charge. The splat bombs and stingray that accompany the weapon uh, complement the long-range nature of this charger. This set is great. It's a great starting point on your journey to charger mastery. Ugh. <laughs> I'm definitely buying this. I'll buy that the other one later. I want to save it for maybe uh, some, some sort of clothes. I meant to equip it. Um, all right, here we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip. I'll put the, I want to use the roller in this episode too. My, one of my favorites. So uh, that looks good, right? Great. I don't even need to test it. I know what te I know what a roller does. I played so much Splatoon and even, you know, the, the other stuff. Oh, hey, let's return to the lobby. And uh, let's see if we can get another battle and get to level four pretty soon. All right. I'm, I made it to another full lobby. I don't know. I think I might only get 2,000. I don't know how many points I'll get at most. Maybe it'll take a couple more rounds to get to level four. But still, I want to get some fresh gear. We're at Muscle Forge Fitness. Splashdown. Knowing now that I can squid jump to people and do splashdown is a very, very fun thing. Uh, I'm glad I read that. I would, If I hadn't read that, I wouldn't have known. Until you guys told me in the comments. You guys probably would have told me in the comments pretty soon, though. So here we go. Let's get this inked. All right. And now the roller, for those of you who maybe haven't seen my previous stuff, it has a different fling direction. Uh, it's more narrow, so if you jump, it has a narrow thing. But you can kind of do it by first jumping, I mean, by, by hitting and then jumping. So it's a little bit different, but I kind of like the way that you can choose. We need more ink. There's the rain cloud. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, well. Enough enough dwelling on the opponent's mastery of of, of, uh, of special weaponry. So <laughs> it's a, this is some big words I threw together for no real reason. All right, I, I, what I want to do is, is attempt to uh, do the... Uh, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead. He said, ouch. I'm jumping here. Boom! I didn't get anybody. But it looked so cool. And it was so fast. And very scary, I'm sure. Ah! <laughs> I can't... <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. Okay. All right. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, just do that a little bit. Here we go. Can't climb that rock wall. 
the heck? Oh, jeez, it's finding me. It's trying to, at least. Alright, I don't know what to do. Nice, good job. Oh, man. Alright, we're good. I like the music. They're not playing the same song that I like the most, though. Oh boy, get ready. I'm going to their side. Oh, I was. Boom! Oh man, that's not enough. I thought I was gonna get several of them, but I only got like one. Nice. Good job, guys. What? What? That was lag or something. He did not even roll over me. What was that? It's okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. We need to get this area. This is our side. Almost all of us are dead. That means they're going to probably pick up some, some territory. Likely in the middle. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Dang it. I got two. Oh man, it may, I hope that we're, uh, we got, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I can't look at the map yet. Uh, it's okay, let's see how we did. I think we won that one, I think we won. And if we did, I'm gonna be very happy. Victory big time. All right. Very awesome. Only third place, I don't expect as much coverage with this type of weapon. One more battle, one more victory, and I'll probably be to level four. So let's go ahead and jump into another one. Here we go. All right, we got another full lobby, so let's go in here with my roller and see if we can win one more, maybe get me to level four. The Reef. Is there fun stages? These are good stages to start out with. So here we go. I like those guys' sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, again, I'm gonna try the strategy where I, I ink. Home turf, and then I, I, oh, the song's back. All right, everyone, I, I, I need to find a direction to, to go that no one else is really going. All right, here we go, I'm, yeah, here we go. This is good, this is good enough. But the video, no, no, oh, no. But still, <laughs> I can't believe I got that. Okay, gosh, my ink is so low. All right, here we go. All right, so here's my idea. Uh, sure, jump to you. Th th this is right next door, okay. All right, we're fine. Uh-oh. Oh, this guy might return here. No, he shot me. Oh my gosh, I thought that was gonna be so awesome, but it didn't work out how I thought. All right, let's, instead of focusing on some gimmicks, let's actually try to get, get some stuff done here. Okay, we've already got that side covered. We can try to get ba -ba -da -ba -ba video. All right, we can get this done, right? It's a nice little section. All right, yeah, they're definitely getting this area covered. There's an enemy on the, our sides. Boom! Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, man, we have three people dead. This isn't good. I need a better victory than this. I mean, better victory than a defeat. <laughs> yeah, we're losing right now, unfortunately. All right, so again, my main line of thinking is, ah, uh, oh, jeez. All right, we've gotten a lot more done. No, oh, jeez, oh. oh, I freaked out, I freaked out. We're all dead, come on. 
How are we all dead? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've just... Oh man, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, whatever. Jeez, it broke his shield. I'm only trying to focus on this. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even know. If we win, I mean, it was through just true grit. We lost. We lost. Darn it. I tried. I tried. I really did. All right. Oh, last place. Oh, embarrassing. I got to get back into the game. Oh, not enough. One more battle and I'll be level four. And we're at the reef again. So let's see what our team can do. All right. New music, that's great. Hey, I'm the, okay, here, I'm gonna set out a course. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna be out. All right, I'm gonna get everything inked that I can. Specifically, largely on our side so that we never have to return to it. And I'm protected. This would be a great time to do a ninja jump. Or a squid jump, rather. Boom! I love that move. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow. Oh, we're winning pretty good right now. Trying to just leave. Leave the scene of the crime. It's hard to fight these guys how I want to. All right. Here we go, man. We spent a lot of time there. Let me fill in the blanks over here. Yeah, we've got this covered pretty much. And I probably have some sort of a shield, it seems. I don't know of any other indication other than that. I don't know how long it lasts either. All right, yeah, we're doing great. We're doing wonderful. Yeah, I don't even know what else we can do. I can't get up to the top. I don't know how useful these things are either. Oh jeez, thank you. All right, here we go, this is this, this is it. I'm definitely gonna just kinda go in here. Boom! I mean, that's a good finishing touch. Let's now take our level four. Well, look how clean that looks. I mean, it's like, I mean, such a nice divide. We just couldn't really get up there very well. But we did a great job there. Victory for sure. And now I'm level four. Bottom, I mean, but still, I mean, that's pretty good ink coverage for a roller. Level four, now I can go get some fresh gear. I can be taken seriously as a client. Let's exit right now. Return to the Inkopolis Square. And talk about things that we can buy. So I'm gonna need some fresh gear, absolutely. So what's up, what's up? All right, Jelfonzo, welcome to Ye Old Cloth Shop. 
<laughs> Shouldst thou hear thy coin spend, unto me shall great profit be. Uh, Prithi, listen, for my gear hath abilities which will grant unto thee victory, glory, and coin. Coin which, in turn, will allow thee fresh gear, fattening my pockets all the while. Thou should, shouldst hit, hit, hitteth ZL for more information about abilities. All right. <laughs> Ink saver. Special charge up. Uh, and these are not, like, amazing gear, but respawn punisher. What's that? Let's see. Let's see the ZL. Uh, respawn punisher increases respawn time and special gauge spawn penalty for you and any player who splats you. Nice. So, increases respawn time. For you and any player who's... For me too? Wait. Increases respawn time. And... For me and... So wait. Does it also hurt me? Why would I... What? <laughs> okay. Maybe I... Okay. Anyway. But we know what the rest are, right? I don't know what to get. Uh, how about let's just... Let's get this. I don't know how this works. We're going we're gonna to see how it works. Bye. I guess that what that would be is for people who don't die a lot. Or... I don't know. Well, no. Because it affects both. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll equip, I'll work on it, see what it's all about. Okay, yeah, okay, understand. And then the rest, you know, um, uh, let's just, let's just go on to the next, can I go into the next room? Oh, I can rotate myself. Here we go, this is Flo, uh, hello, my little ink fish. Welcome to Headspace. You know, of course, that each piece of gear can grant you an ability, don't you? Well, if you want to, uh, the nitty gritty, just press ZL to read up on it, okay. Uh, lightweight cap. Bomb defense up. That sounds really cool. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure just self-explanatory, but reduces damage taken by blast from sub weapons or special or special weapons. That's really cool. Quick respawn reduces respawn time after getting splash uh, by splat with, uh, repeatedly without splatting any opponents. Interesting. Reduces damage taken and improves mobility when walking through ink. So quick respawn is good. I'm gonna need quick respawn stuff. And in fact, was this one of the hat here? Let's ha let's try this on. This was this one of the hats that I always use. Maybe so. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this one. In case there's a nice tower control, and yeah, equip it. You're welcome. But also, I'm I'm curious now about this other other ability here, bomb defense up. So just I'm by. I'm not gonna equip it. Uh, yeah, let's equip this one. There we go. All right, great. Now I only have six thousand coins left. Sheldon's here with weapons. Uh, oh, the splat duelies I'm going to have to definitely get. Uh, I got the finest selection of ink weaponry in all of Inkopolis. Take a look. You're ready to wield the Tentatec Splatter Shot. The Tentatec Splatter Shot is the product of a collaboration with the gear brand Tentatec. Its stats are the same, but it now has splat bombs as a sub weapon and inkjet special, allowing players to punish the front lines. I'd recommend it for anyone who wants to quickly expand their team's turf and raise their team's morale. And that's not all. You're also ready to wield the Splat Duelies. I'm going to get those. The main uh, the main is the Splat Duelies, a pair of Duelie-type weapons born from the culture of Turf War. You carry one in each hand, which is pretty sweet, and the propulsive exhaust nozzles allow you to perform high-speed dodge rolls. You can't move for a brief period immediately after rolling, but the two sights overlap during that time, increasing your splattering power. The included burst bombs have great damage output, and you can hit far off opponents with the tint of, with the tint of missiles. It's really a solid set. All right, I'm gonna get those for sure. Buy those, and uh, yeah, yeah, we'll equip those. We'll use those next episode probably. Thank you. I, I know you'll give it a good home. Remember, simply press. Oh, yeah, we understand. We understand. All right, let's uh, keep keep a move on. Here is Bisque. Welcome to Shell Afresh. <laughs> ha! You look like you just showed up for your first day of school. Loosen up, Duder. I got you. All my gear comes with abilities that will help you step your game up. Okay, here we go. So let's find out what this is. Ink recovery up. Special charge up. We know those. Ink saver main. Ink resistance up. Cold blooded and run speed up. Nothing too new here. No ninja jump shoes uh, right now, at least. Uh, so cold blooded. Uh, whoop. Cold blooded is decrease active time of opponent point sensors and other items that reveal location. Okay, seems pretty cool. Seems pretty standard. But uh, I think I might go with special charge up. Those shoes look pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the, and these are all looking good, right? Okay. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Buy those. Excellent. And yeah, equip them. All new gear. 
All right, thank you. Oh, nice, zoom. All right, and then we've talked to him. We've talked to her. We've talked to him. We've talked to him. It's time to leave, guys. So they said something about the back. Let's check out, um, let's see. I'll scan Amiibos in the future. So I've checked out all the shops. What is over here? So hello, hello. I don't know if I want to, this is to re-roll, right? Hey, chum. Hmm, I don't think we've met. I've never, I'll, I never forget a fresh face. I've got a good feeling about you, so I'll let you in on a little secret. If you want to make it big around here, you need top shelf gear. Let's be honest, most of the posers in the square don't deserve the gear they've got. You deserve the gear they've got. <laughs> That's where I come in. Just walk up to anyone in the square and press A to check their gear. If you want it, just press ZL to order it. Now, I can't promise I'll be able to find gear with the exact same abilities, but I'll give you, give it a shot. So this is just like uh, the other guy, right? Increase slots, rerolls, scrub slots, use ability chunks, splat net order, wow. So, what's ability chunks? Yo, you ever wanna, you ever use ability chunks to craft a new ability? Nah, I didn't think so. If you have enough ability chunks, you can slap whatever ability you want into whatever piece of gear you want. That sounds so cool because I was doing so many, th this is like the, the new version of Spike, right? Maybe even his kid, who knows? This would be so cool to do um, and, and be able to completely customize. You can even put abilities in gear that's already full of abilities. The original abilities turn into ability chunks that you can use later. You should give it a go at least once. Choose the gear and ability you want. Uh, you know, I don't really want to do this. I don't, I don't know that I want to do this. Uh, but let's take a look at these shoes. Um, no, you know what? I don't know. I don't want to mess with this yet. Let's mess with this later, once I actually know what I want. I don't want to use anything up. I don't want to mess anything up. What's this? Swarly. Oh, <laughs> this is a guy behind her name, Swarly. Let's splat. There's Spike. All right, all right. Anything over here? Anything over here? Let's see what's down here. All right, nothing. This is just uh, this is just a little alleyway. Maybe it's for a future expansion. There's uh, a Pearl and Marina right there. Nice. Oh, hey, let's talk to Judd. All right, yeah, I've done that. I visited the weapon shop already. Callie went down there, but I want to take a look up here really quick first. This place looks closed and also very spooky. Ask for a bonus. You haven't, I haven't earned a bonus. Rude. All right, well last but not least in this video, let's go down here and see what this is all about. Here we go. Here I am. This looks like a nice place. And there it is, Marie. Hmm. The Octarians. Hey, you showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. <laughs> I'm Marie. I know you probably uh, you're probably a bit starstruck, but I need you to get over it. Yes, I'm that Marie. You know, from the Squid Sisters. I'm just looking at her like what? You never heard of me? For real? <laughs> For real? Well, you obviously aren't very cultured, but you'll have to do. See, I've got a little thing I need some help with. By now you've heard that the great zapfish that powers Inkopolis Square is missing. Well, it's not just missing, it's been squidnapped by the Octarian Menace. How do I know this? On the surface, I may look just like an absurdly talented pop star. But in truth, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon, a secret society of heroes who save the world from Octarians. Now, I've been trying to keep an eye on the Octarians in my downtime, but I'm a busy girl. If only Callie was around to lend a hand. <clears throat> I need you to go get the great zapfish back from those slimy Octarians. What do you say, are you in? Am I? <clears throat> so... <laughs> I'll take your awkward silence as a yes. Welcome aboard. You are now Agent 4 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. I even, wow, look at my gear. I even <laughs> bought you a brand new hero suit as a signing bonus. 
And look at that, it fits just like a glove. Not bad for an old hand-me-down. Now, let's go, let's go tear those Octarians limb from limb, from limb from limb from limb from, well, you get the picture. <laughs> oh yeah, the entrances to the Octarian realm are invisible, so you have to ink them to reveal them. All right, so that's, uh, if you see anything weird looking, blast it with ink before thinking, I always say. All right, just anything weird over here? Not yet. All right, I'm on my way. Oh wait, these are weird looking, right? Yeah. Oh, this shows the strength, I guess. There we go, nice. Okay, so I haven't seen anything too weird. I'm not gonna jump off the cliff either. It's weird to barbecue here. You're weird. Oh, she whoa, she guarded with her umbrella. What if I like arc it down? All right, all right, all right, fine. Nothing too weird over here, so let's go. This is weird, in the sense that it's already inked. How did, who inked this stuff? Oh, wait. No? Whoa. Whoa. All right, where are we going with this? That's obviously weird. What is, hold on. I don't know what these balloons are all about, but let's find out. All right, hold on. I'll be right there. What? It disappeared? Well, I wasn't ready for that. Okay. So obviously this is, this is a weird thing up here. Let's go ahead and uh, get this covered. I don't know if this is level one. I plan on doing just what I did for the first Splatoon, we're just one level at a time. This is level one, Return of the Octarians, Rescue the Zapfish. What's that balloon all about though? I really want to know. There's a red balloon now. Let's do the yellow one first. Up there. I didn't know it was going to disappear. Uh, come back, thank you. Here we go up top. Oh man, okay, hold on. Got it. What is this? Oh, a page. Welcome to Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. Collect all the commemorative souvenir stickers. Okay, great. <laughs> all right. Well, let's now go uh, to world one, level one, or whatever it's called and do this, and then we'll be done with today's episode. But don't worry, I got so many more to come, so here we go. Level one. I am ready. Here we go, whoa. All right, I'm ready. Press the L to enter squid form and swim. I know how this game works, I think. All right, cover enemy to move. I understand that as well. Now, are there going to be any secrets here like there were before? And if so, does it tell me? It maybe tells me. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, he keeps getting alarmed. You probably already know this, but you can press Z to shoot ink from your weapon. I got it. Surprise! Whoa, what's that onion ring? Oh, jump through the squid ring. Yeah, wow. Oh, almost. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. So it looks like there are two items here that I need to find. I don't know if I'll find them both. I hope so. All right, let's just go. Let's get a move on. Not a lot of cover here. Hiding the ink with uh, move slowly. Yeah, here we go. I got that. I understand the concept. That way I don't cause a ruckus. Well, I could do that. Or I could just go to his back. Direct. Got it. Ah, launch pad, what's this? Nice. Okay, let's do the launch pad stuff. Nice. Hey, buddies. Hi. Oh, wow, nice. And I was able to shoot them right there, so now I get to just... Nice. Okay. I'm getting the feel for this. Yeah, I can look around if I want. Oh, geez. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, I need more ink. Wonderful. So I go that way, obviously. I'm just curious, is there like, I mean, I know that there's gonna be secret things. Just wonder if I found them, you know, like if I if I missed them. Doesn't look like I have. I guess maybe I, I can always play through, through this again if I if I did miss something. I would hope they would make the level one one easy. Okay, here we go. Excellent, there's a balloon. Dang it, did I need that? Did I need that balloon like right now? I must have. Darn it, did I just, did I squat? Maybe I gotta go through and do the balloon thing. That's something I'll keep in mind. Here we go, treasures. Treasure, treasure, treasures. Oh, there's one hiding there. Okay, well, here we go. There's that key. All right, so let's see. The key to the vault, that's always good. I feel like I needed that balloon though, just saying. Nice, blow up everything. I got hit. Kind of being a little careless with the way I'm, I'm doing this, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, we can launch. I do wonder about that balloon. Anything under here? No, sometimes they hide things under. You want that armor? I do. Oh, they see me, they see me. Hi, okay. He tried to move out of the way, that's very really cool. All right. If you're hurt or overwhelmed, no I'm not. Oh my god, okay, I'm overwhelmed. Or maybe hurt, maybe just hurt. Let's see what we're doing here. Break it open, what's happening? Jeez, that took forever. Oh, that's a, that's a 10 count. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, that's just one, that's just one. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look really quick. And uh, we shall see what is happening. I, I, I don't see anything like around here that looks secret yet. Although that one balloon, it seems like I, I probably did indeed miss it. Uh, so we'll probably have to go back through the stage just to get that last balloon or maybe I'll do it. Who knows when I'll do it. But if we're talking about 100% completion, I will. I'll do 100% completion just like I did in Splatoon 1. Surprise, as in you surprise me, but Checkpoint. All right, yeah, Bomb, you're talking to me, but I'm not doing necessarily the things you're telling me, but I know I need to. Boom! Do it again, one more time, one more time. What? There we go, well done. And now I have a thing, this is a, just a checkpoint over here. Uh, is that anything? I guess not, or I guess it could be, I don't know. All right, now we're gonna jump in here. Oh, dang it, I missed a box. Uh, okay, so I don't know if that box had the secret. It maybe did. Uh, balloons, don't look down or whatever, okay. I missed that box, I can't believe I missed the box. Wow, you must really hate balloons. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that was neat. Oh, onion rings. So let's drop down, because the onion rings give me some points. All right, I don't need to reset the camera. Surprise! You never know what you'll find on the other side of a wall. I mean, exactly, that's a good point. What's on the other side of this wall here? What's on the other side, anything? Oh. What is that? I must know. I must know what you'll never find. There's the scroll. What's the other thing though? What's the other thing? I got the scroll for this stage. All right, I'm glad I checked. I'm glad she told me.
Here we go. Boom. Yeah, there we go. I ambushed him. There we go. There we go. Now what happens? Now we just go over here. Final checkpoint. So there's one thing I may be missing. Oh, I got a special Tinatech missiles. I don't know if I targeted enough, but... There we go. Beautiful work. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, it's just a key. Well done. Thank you. And then we got some more. Great. I locked on as many as I could. Oh my gosh, look at all the, oh my gosh. The rest are just sitting ducks. Maybe, I lost my armor though. Got several keys for this. Now we're cooking. So yeah, what is the other thing? Nice. Okay, what's the other one? Hold on. All right, just some points. All right, well, I don't know what I missed. Uh, hey, buddy. Okay, well, let's collect it. Bust and grab that zap fish. I'll have to figure out what I missed. Um, but that's cute. Let's see. So what did I miss from that? All right, so I got the scroll. I don't know what the other thing was. A shockwave struck while one young lady was performing at the recent youth folk singing contest, doing damage to the venue. Fortunately, no one was injured. And that's page one. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what I missed, and then like next episode I'll pick it up. Uh, I'll go in and pick it up, and uh, I'll also try to do that for um, you know for and then in the future episodes that I do, I'll try to grab them all, of course. Here we go. Come on, open it up. Oh, this is nothing. Okay. Well, well, Callie, were you impressed? Were you impressed? I'm sorry, not Callie. Marie. Marie. Sorry. <laughs> Callie's missing. I still can't believe you never heard of the Squid Sisters. You're messing with me, right? <laughs> You're a fan of high places, aren't you? Take it slow, Agent Four, but like, quickly. The great Zapfish isn't going to save itself, although that would be rad if it did. <laughs> Zapfish are the source of all of Inkopolis' energy, you know. Man, Octarians are so weird with their creepy floating platforms everywhere. I gotta say, you smell so much better than the last agent I trained. Hygiene wasn't Agent 3's strong suit. <laughs> Commence Operation Awkward Silence. Agent 4 is stalling by talking to me. Must be terrified of the Octarians. Dude, shut your face and get to work already. I need a vacation. This is, who's she talking to? Agent 4. More like Agent Snore. Oh! Oh, I'm still... <laughs> I'm the one talking to her. Okay, anyway. She's thinking to herself, but I don't like the things she's thinking. Oh, I can't get over there, but I can go up here. Anyway, guys, um, I do appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching me play Splatoon 2. Thank you for every single like, comment, favorite, anything that you guys leave on this episode. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Nintendo, for sending me a code for this game early. Oh, what? What the heck? What was that? I just picked one up. But the, So there must be one of those in... You know, I think I know exactly where it was. Uh, but I'll, I'll go back and get it next episode. I think I know exactly. It was that box I probably missed then, right? Or maybe the balloon I missed. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time for more. Goodbye, and this is the start of a fantastic new series. Adios. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.